This video explains how you can create loops and groups in your Experido templates to automatically build lists or tables with iterating items, such as a list of products in a quotation or an invoice. This invoice template, for instance, contains such a table with invoice line items. In the Mapping tab of the Experido pane to the right, you can see the loop of the invoice details of this invoice with a couple of fields that are mapped for each iteration. Looking at the preview, you will see a table is generated with a table row for each of the line items in this invoice. So let's build such a table now that loops the different line items of the invoice. First off, we'll create a 4x2 word table. We'll use the first row for the headers. In the second row, we'll map a couple of fields. The first column will be the name of the invoice product. The second column, the quantity, the price per unit, and finally the total will be the extended amount field here. This is a line item total field that already takes line item level discounts into account. So let's apply some formatting to these fields right now and indicate that the quantity is a number, price per unit is a currency, and the extended amount is a currency as well. And now let's create that loop. Creating a loop is a three-step process really. Step one is to highlight the area in the canvas that you want to repeat for each iteration. In our example that is this table row, but it could perfectly be a paragraph or a list item in a bullet list or a numbered list. Step two then is to select a repeating item in your dataset. In this dataset, there is a one-to-many relationship between the invoice and the invoice details. As you can tell from the field inspector in the bottom right corner, the invoice detail entity iterates four times in the active sample record. So you can select that iterating element. With the area to repeat and the repeating element selected, the only thing left to do is to click the loop icon in the dataset command bar. Let's fix the column widths a bit here before we preview. And there's our table of invoice details. In the mapping pane, you can see how the fields we mapped in the table are now part of the loop. Double-clicking the loop opens the loop dialog where you can sort and limit your loop. Let's sort this one, for instance, by extended amount in a descending order. And there you go. Let's preview. So there we are. We see the table now ordered by line item amount. We can still edit our table, by the way, for instance, to add a formula that calculates the sum of the extended amounts. So let's insert that formula. So it's a sum. And we want the sum, basically, of the extended amounts. So there you go. Experto pops up the formatting dialog now, so we can mark this as a currency mapping. Okay, let's preview. So there's our table, now neatly ordered from the most expensive line item down, and with a nice grand total at the bottom. Another nice feature which combines pretty well with looping is grouping. It's a mechanism to split out a loop by a certain grouping parameter such as the product type, for instance. In our invoice dataset, for instance, there's a Salimo product type field that indicates which category each of the invoice products belong to. As you can see, we have a heat pump here, a solar boiler, and two solar panel products. To break up the loop into these product categories, we'll first map the Salimo product type field as a sort of category subtitle above the table that contains the loop of products. After that, the grouping process is very similar to the loop. First select the area that will be repeated for each group, and then select the field that will be your grouping parameter. 
finally click the group icon in the dataset command bar there you go so let's have a quick look as you can see the table is now split up into three categories and even the totals at the bottom of each table have now become category subtotals since these formula are aware of the group context so in a nutshell, this is how you can create loops and grouped loops with the Experito template design add-in for Microsoft Word.